Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Power of Mushroom. Um, coming to you with the news video. And basically, you know, that news video is, uh, you know, wouldn't you just love to uh, start tournaments on your own? Well, now you can. Because now Xbox One and PlayStation 4 will be uh, bringing the tournament mode to uh, their consoles. Meaning that you could create your own tournaments, but I'm going to go ahead and read you the article. And it states that for competitive gamers that uh, don't quite meet the criteria to compete in professional tournaments, that's how it starts. Um, Microsoft uh, announced that uh, Arena is a new feature on Xbox One and Windows PC that will allow gamers to create and play in custom tournaments, um, making the company's entry into the world of esports. Um, Xbox One is the first major console to allow players to create their own tournaments, blah, blah, blah. For competitive multiplayer games like Forza, Gears of War, uh, Killer Instinct, also I'm going to just throw some out there, Halo, Dragon Ball, um, Naruto Storm, I don't know, other games like that. Maybe uh, maybe even Dark Souls, who knows. Um, you know, uh, custom tournaments set for specific times and dates in either ladder, bracket, and Swiss League, also known as a group play setups. So, you know, meaning that you could like, uh, let me turn this camera a bit. Bam. Meaning, you know, we create our own tournaments with our own rules. They're going to be our rules. So, you know, still adjusting the camera. Yeah, creating your own rules. So, um, I don't know, that's pretty exciting. Meaning, like, you know, Mortal Kombat tournaments, maybe? Uh, with Shao Kahn standing in the middle. I don't know. Uh, saying, fight me. I don't know. Dude, that's freaking awesome. Creating your own tournaments. <laughs> That's great, you know, I've always wanted, because usually when I've gotten together with friends, we've done tournaments, we've always kind of like, uh, we've had a piece of someone keep track, so someone has a piece of paper, and then we write down uh, where per people are, and, you know, in the tournament, whatever tournament we create, such as Halo, we did a lot of Halo tournaments, and, uh, and you know, we would always write down where, you know, people are, you know, those little bracket sheets, and all that stuff, or if it was online, we'd have to have somebody control, uh, you know, the tournament, that we can like you know move on to the next tier and all that stuff we don't really have a scoreboard that was like digital like this that's freaking awesome so that means like less work for us and it's way easier so I'm pretty sure if I don't know I'm just throwing this out there I don't it, there, this article doesn't mention anything about um, you know you joining random people's tournaments but if you could look for tournaments and join tournaments like you know request to join a tournament I think it would be pretty cool just I mean if they throw that in there some way you know that'd be freaking awesome um, anyways, uh, some existing game. Okay, it's going on to say that you know some games do allow tournaments, uh, people to compete in tournaments, but yeah, this is the first custom tournament. So now, while Microsoft a lot, or, okay, so Sony announced did announce that they are going to be doing also a tournament-based style to like the dashboard, um, but it's not going to be custom like us creating it. It's going to be hosted. So it goes on to say that early in October, uh, Sony announced a partnership with the tournament organizer ESL to bring competitive gaming tournaments to the PlayStation 4 dashboard for the first time. Uh, PlayStation 4's players can sp can opt into tournaments hosted by ESL but cannot create their own custom comp competitions. I mean, that it's I guess it's all right. I mean, I do kind of like the custom tournaments better cuz I do have a lot of friends on PS4 who do like playing uh, tournaments and I also have friends on Xbox One who play tournaments and I think it'd be pretty cool if Sony could find a way to kind of collaborate and just allow custom tournaments that'd be freaking awesome because there are probably still some games out there that people don't play as much maybe like Killzone Shadowfall or you know other games such you know like that but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be seeing a lot of Street Fighter maybe a lot of Call of Duty and stuff like that for these tournaments on Sony but now this got me thinking this article does mention something and we did see I mean it mentions Nintendo teasing that they'll be involved in a tournament way uh, that's what this article mentions but then I got to think about it yeah Nintendo did mention it kind of I mean we really um oh man For some reason my ear just went deaf on my right side I don't know why um so anyways, yeah, Nintendo, um, Nintendo did kind of hint at it when uh, they threw in uh, on the Nintendo Switch trailer, which I do want to talk about the Nintendo Switch later on in another video. But uh, you know, they it shows in the during the Nintendo Switch uh, trailer at the very end, these kids going up and there's like a big tournament arena with people bringing their Switch games or whatever, and that's that's pretty cool. 
Um, if Nintendo does decide to go that route, hopefully they do pick up the custom tournament ways and allow us to create our own tournaments because a lot of people are going to be wanting to create their own tournaments for different games that probably nobody really plays or stuff like that. I don't know. You never know. It could create... Really, this is a chance to create like a bigger community for certain games that don't get a lot of uh, love, you know? And that, that's just freaking fantastic. I mean, like, uh, with the arena, I know that me and my friends are going to be creating Halo Wars tournaments. Not a lot of people play Halo Wars now. But with the Halo Wars tournament, if we could get that out there, I'm pretty sure that people, more people start playing Halo Wars, you know? I just think that's awesome. Really cool that Microsoft, Sony, and possibly Nintendo decide to go this route because it does give the... You know, the the market or like, you know, the community, a lot more stuff to do and it's going to keep this gaming experience online stuff fresh for us. So, yeah, there you go. I mean, really, that's really all I wanted to say. You know, this is just a news up or for the tournament thing. I don't know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to leave a link in the description for the article below in the in my description for the video. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. This is the Power of Mushroom and I hope you guys are having a great day.